is January. January is a 60-year-old knight and has recently decided that he wants to get married. This is because he believes that a man without a wife is destined to be helpless and lost. January determines that in order to get married, his bride cannot be older than 20, hoping to be able to mold her into the person he wants her to be. The old knight goes to his friends Placebo and Justinus for advice. Placebo says that January is making the right decision, and Justinus suggests being cautious and thorough when choosing a wife. January then began considering whom he was going to marry of the young women in the town. He came to a decision and immediately sent for his friends. They decide it is fit that this young maiden, May, would be married to January as soon as possible. Then came the wedding day and they were married in a full ceremony. January was amazed and put into a trance every time he laid his eyes upon May and everyone is happy except for a squire named Damien. Damien was very much in love with May and it pained him to see her marry January. January and May then left the wedding, returning to their home and celebrating being married. One day, January questions where Damien is, and his fellow squires cover for him by saying that he is sick. January suggests that May go visit Damien and give him their best in his recovery. While May was in Damien's room, he slipped her a love note. May felt pity for Damien and wanted to put him at ease, so she wrote her own letter and put it under his pillow to find. January also had a garden that was very important to him, and which only he had a key to. One day, January suddenly goes blind and becomes very jealous and protected of his wife, not letting her go anywhere without him. May was distraught because of the love she felt for Damien and her inability to see him. Damien had also become very sorrowful for not being able to speak to May, so they began to form secret signals to communicate without January's knowledge. May then makes a mold of the key to January's garden, and Damien makes a copy of the key. After this, January decides he wants to take May into the garden for a stroll. May signals that Damien should go in ahead of them with the key, and he hid it in a bush. When May sees Damien, she signals him to climb into a pear tree. Pluto, king of the fairyland, and his wife, Queen Proserpina, descend upon the garden. Pluto says that he wishes to restore January's vision so he can see what May is doing to him. January and May are happily strolling through the garden when May says she would really like a pear. January gets down on all fours so May can reach the pear tree and she climbs up, commencing to do stuff with Damien. Pluto saw this happening and gave January his sight back. Busted! January can now see what his wife is doing and is outraged. May says that this was the only thing she could do to restore his vision, but January is not having any of her shenanigans. May says then that if he could truly see, he would not think what was happening was happening. Oh, she brother. explains that his sight is not yet fully recovered, and he forgives her. She climbs down from the tree and into January's joyful embrace. The End <laughs>